Hello everyone and welcome back to CK2 Bulgaria. At the end of the last episode, um, this guy, um, okay, which is the duke I just uh, usurped, has uh, created a defensive pact opposing me, which I don't think is a huge deal. Um, if we look at it, I don't know where to see exactly where the defensive pact is. Or who's in it. But it would have to be Slavic. So, I think that's okay. Because if we check again, uh, Slavic's mostly up there. We're not actually touching any. So it's not really that concerning. I mean, we've got Slavic people within our country. But I think that they'll get um, basically eliminated over time through conversions. So I think it'll be okay. Um, as for if we want to declare war on anyone right now, our threat is kind of high. Um, but it's mostly would be Slavic and Tangri that would be against us. So if we look at the Magyars, it looks like they're at war with a few nations right now. So they'll probably get pulled apart, which is alright. Um, but I wonder if we could take, like, cheekily take some of their land. No, because that's right. He's got a close family member in prison. Um, and I think I have a ceasefire with him for now. I don't know. If we do this, yeah, that's going to cost us a lot of prestige. That's not worthwhile. Um, Great Morovia. I wouldn't mind going to war with them. We don't border. I don't think we have claims. Um, let's look at the diplomatic relations. We could declare war on the Byzantines. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, it would just be for one county at this point. I don't think I can declare war for more than that. Yeah, it's just, it'd be a de jure claim there. I could get this guy to be a tributary. I don't know if that's that necessary. The tributary thing is nice. Um, they give you money, and they are obligated to join in your wars, but I don't know. What could we declare war on this guy for? It would just be to liberate Crimea. So we could holy war for it, or we could just liberate it. And we might actually just liberate it. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. Let's see how many troops they have. 1,500. But it looks like they've got revolts going on, I think we might be able to sneak in and take that. So I think I probably will do that. So yeah, why don't we make that the plan for now. We're going to liberate Crimea. It's going to give this a full dukedom, basically. Um, it's nomadic. We could upgrade these things to a point where we could turn it into something. And I might help him do that. Because I don't want him to leave on succession. So that's the sketchy part. Is if we take these places, they revert back, and they leave us on succession. I don't really want that. But if we can create a situation in which they become feudal, that'd be a good basis for us. Um, hmm. It's interesting. I think we'll probably try to liberate it anyhow. From... Fazaria. Yeah, let's do that. So let's liberate Crimea. I think we can just about safely do that. They're probably occupied doing other things. I think Georgia is involved in a war with them. I guess we just go through with it now. Hopefully that doesn't get detected. Uh, this guy of Croatia. Okay, he joined in. So they are just joining defensive alliances against me. OK, 
Okay, we killed him. Let's see. Most of these folks are pragmatists. But our council doesn't actually have power, so it's alright. Um, di diplomatically, I think we go with him. He's got the highest diplomatic score. And then we do... Okay, well this guy shouldn't be fighting. We'll get him to collect taxes. I think getting the money up is going to be important. Then we're going to fabricate claims over here. That seems good to me. This is just a courtier. Yeah, that's fine. You can marry her. We've got a good dog. So that counts as instant occupation. Um, so there's what we'd have to take, but they're all tribal. Okay, so we'll leave those 2,500, or er, <laughs> 250 guys there. We'll meet these guys up, and then we're gonna go... Um, okay. There's a Tangri Revolt. I think we can handle it with this force. And we want to put that down. As long as we control this Crimean territory, we're going to have a ticking war score upward. It would be nice to find their army, but... Alfred, the wife of Jorvik, has been spending a few days in Ternobo. Jorvik way up here? That sounds... Mm, no worries. Jorvik. Yeah, that, I mean, that's fine. I guess I'm not opposed. Yeah, he is no worries. We can be on the flank here. Hopefully we don't lose too many people to sickness. It's sort of part of it. Poor physician, completely botched the treatment of my son. Uh, is now worse off, barely clinging to life. Uh, he's doing his best. Okay, so we put down that revolt. I think maybe we just save up and straight build the castle, rather than trying to upgrade that through to castle. All right, I think that would be cheaper overall. I don't know. Let's let's do this and see where it goes. See if that cost goes up exponentially or not. Titles. If we can just find their army and fight it, we're going to be okay. Oh, that's actually more sizable than I anticipated. And I don't want to raise my levies. Let's stand here. Maybe they'll cross to try to attack us. 
So we don't want to do that, though. Okay, we fulfilled our ambition. This could be bad for us. But they have to do a major river crossing to get to us. It's going to be a big advantage for us. Yeah, I think we're going to be alright. And I think we can follow this river crossing. So we're at 91%. That was a major victory, so we could just go back and sit. And that's probably what I should have done, but beating him up one more time isn't a big concern, and then we'll retreat back. Maybe I won't. So, 97. I think we just follow him one more time to finish this off. And we can actually siege this down, which is going to be worth war score as well. It'll be pretty quick, too. They still want to increase the council power. Okay, so we liberated Bulgaria. <laughs> Excuse me, not Bulgaria, Crimea. We're playing as Bulgaria, my bad. So we can choose a new ambition. Build a war chest. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. I don't know if we're going to be at peace for five years, so let's do build a war chest. And whether we do that or not, it's a different deal, but... So our Dems is too big, and we got the wrong holding type. So those are tribal holdings. I'm going to give that to her, because we don't really have any interest in holding it. Okay, let's stand these troops down. So how threatening are we now? We're down to nine. That's not bad. Croatia, they're Catholic. I think these are all Catholic. So let's look at the diplomatic mode here. We can declare war on some more people. Which isn't the worst thing. How many troops do you have total? 3,000 some. Is that just because you're at war? It might be because they have like some special troop spawns from being at war. Dual claims can create. We don't really want to go to war here. Duchy of Crimea is fine. Kingdom of Wallachia. I mean that I think that would allow us to make Empire of Carpathia. No, we don't own enough. Maybe we will become Carpathia. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Because building a custom empire would be fine too. The Bulgarian Empire. Which is what I think I might do.
It looks like that actually was one of our vassals that took that from Magya. Let's see. I still don't think I can declare war. I don't know what prisoner that he has. I mean, I'm sure I could probably find it, huh? Court. Can I plot to kill him? Because that would be interesting. Kill him and then I could declare war, but... Maybe we just have peace for a time, build up our armies a little bit. Make sure that the factions don't go through with anything. And let our, uh, our threat go down. And to me it doesn't really matter who wins the succession, just that one of my guys does. Great Moravia. 1,600 some dudes. And diplomatically, we have peace agreements or treaties. And we can go up here. They're Slavic. I think we can beat the Slavs back. This would be an interesting take here, because then that would give us access to some other countries. Um, if we look at Lesser Poland, it might be more advantageous to attack them. No, we get the same amount of land out of it. So we might as well do it against him. And increasing orthodoxy is not a bad idea. So let's do that. I don't want our threat to go too high, but I think right now we're secure in what we're doing. And it's decaying all the time. Oh. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to stand these guys down. talk to this guy, and we're going to declare war, because we do have a claim. Tribal vassal. I think we're going to be okay. So we're going to link these guys up, probably here. Take on Crobata. Kobatia. And then, uh, finish our other war. You know, we're gonna expand a little bit here. I don't like this is across a mountain zone. That makes it vulnerable. But uh, if we can take this other chunk from Magyars, it's gonna be fine. Now, being orthodox is great, because I think it means the Byzantine Empire is less likely to want to mess with us. Let's go lay siege. I think they're likely to want to come stop us. Now let's check this out too. The next level of that is only... That's not bad. I think it would be cheaper overall though to just do it in one go. So that actually means we can move our uh, our counselor, and let's have him fabricate there. That'll be fine. Okay, this looks like a situation where we just quick siege twice. Okay, and then we need to get into a battle with him. We're basically guaranteed to win this. They're actually going to offer peace right now. They will surrender. Cool. So Transylvania, you get uh, 
you get that. So I don't want to give it to the other guy who thinks I'm a heretic. That just doesn't make sense. My threat's up to nine again. And you know, keeping it low like this. Oh, shoot. That's a bit bigger than I anticipated, but I think it's going to be okay. So we raise these troops. We're at like five. I don't know how powerful they'd be uh, in their home territory. They're probably more powerful than, than not. So what do we want to do about that? Um... Hmm. I think we raise the other troops. That brings us up to like five, and I think we can beat them at five. Our vessels aren't gonna like that their levies are raised, but they're gonna have to deal with it. A lot of guys are joining this defensive pact against me, but I, I don't think that they can do much at this point. I'm feeling fairly safe. And I would assume our technology is better than theirs. I think we're going to be alright. Let's get everyone joined up here. Join them all up. <clears throat> then we're going to go sit there, siege that down. Let's go ahead and put ourselves in position here on a flank. Got a decent amount of troops there, so that'll be okay. Quick siege. Okay, that's worth quite a bit. And I think we might actually just go in and attack them. Because I think our technology is going to overwhelm them. And we can't sit here and take attrition. Okay, that could have been a terrible choice. It's looking like it was. Okay, but when we actually get into combat with them... Yeah, we win that. Ooh, until they bring in more. Okay. Hey, at least now we know. Not to do that again. Yeah, so I shouldn't have gone in against the Slavs. They've, they're have they able to muster a lot more than me. Um, do I disband that here? No, but dude, can I get out? If I go here, May 4th. So they'll arrive before I can get out. I think we do it now to save some troops because they're just going to chase us down. Taking that back, that's all right. Okay, we've got an uprising. Is that it? Okay. deal with this. They do have enough money to recruit some mercs. 
I don't know that we want to do that just yet. 